what's going on guys welcome to another video and um this is actually a, a continuation on our previous video where we actually discovered the use of aggregated pie chart so for today's video or this episode we will uncover the use of scatter plot so i remembered in my earlier days i was having difficulties of understanding how can I use scatterplot for my case? But over the course of years, then I understand better. And here I'm sharing with you. So basically, scatterplot is a useful tool to visualize the uh, relationship between two variables or more. It's best with two. And it's basically, uh, it's a tool that helps you understand the relationship uh, between these two categories and of course the uh, the use of scatterplot would definitely has its uh, certain what we call it uh, requirements and I'll be sharing with you in this video so let's check it out all right, guys. So, for scatter plot, it's actually a useful uh, visualization uh, for in, uh, basically to identify the relationship between two variables in your data. So, as you can see in my sample here, we have the age and monthly savings. So, of course, this helps you to identify the relationship and trend. And of course, it's actually a useful tool to identify if there's any outlier in your data. So of course, to do a scatter plot, once you have a suitable uh, set of data, uh, something like this. So in your app sheet, so I have my scatter plot, the uh, scatter data here. So now let's create a new view. And I'm using scatter in this case. So scatter plot. And of course, as usual, the view type, we're going for chart. And chart type, I'm going for scatter plot. So of course, the two variables that we are adding in our scatter plot is definitely the age and monthly savings. Let's put it to pink for now. All right, so as you can see in the scatter plot here, you're now able to see the relationship between the age and monthly savings uh, based on the respective axis. And now you can actually see the trend, the sort of trend of the plot. So as the age group goes up, higher than the monthly savings sort of increases as well uh, in relation to the age so again this is the use of scatterplot and as long as you have a suitable data the scatterplot would deem useful for your case all right guys so that's more or less the basics of scatterplot so i hope you enjoyed this video Always remember uh, when creating a scatter plot, it is uh, important to consider the scale and range of your axis to ensure that um, the data is presented uh, clearly and properly. And of course, having the right uh, understanding when to use scatter plot is important so that you can actually interpret your data and make sound decisions and understanding. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.